Hi, I'm Beth Jeffrey from My Tutoring B. And if you have a student that is struggling with multiplication or you just need a little extra practice like during breaks, then you are going to love this math camp. So who is this math camp for? I think that third and fourth graders would really benefit from this kind of math camp. It has a lot of multiplication practice, which is perfect for that grade level but also any students who are in higher grade levels who just want to freshen up those skills or practice their multiplication facts to have them a little bit more fluent, this would be a great camp for them as well. All of the activities are designed to be worked on independently, and I think that any students third grade and up would really benefit from this. This multiplication math camp would be great for summer break, or winter break, any kind of longer break, or even just as after school practice or weekend practice, especially if your student doesn't typically get a ton of homework or extra practice sent home from school. This math camp can be done anywhere. If you have a desktop, a laptop, a Chromebook, a tablet, even a phone would work. All of the activities are digital and they are all hosted either through Google Drive or Boom Cards or Quizlet. So those are all places that can be accessed from any of these devices. The skills that are covered in this multiplication math camp are going to focus on multiplication. So those are going to be your single digit or up to 12 uh, multiplication facts. So ones through 12s facts, but also we do have some activities that include addition and subtraction with double digits or multiple digits, but especially how those are going to be related to our multiplication facts. And then we also have some multiplication activities that work with multiples of tens, one hundreds, and one thousands. If you want a more detailed look at what is covered in this math camp, look below in the description and you will find all of the links to all of the how-to videos and all of the skill videos that are included in this camp. The skill videos are going to give you an idea of what skills are covered for this camp and the how-to videos will give you an actual look at the activities themselves so that you can see what's included. When I created this multiplication math camp, I did have summer in mind. So the way that I structured it is with four sections with four tasks in each section. So that's a total of 16 different tasks for your students to complete. They are listed in a way that is chronological. So the goal is to start with section one, task one, and work all the way through to section four, task four, in the order that they are presented. But truthfully, you could do them in any order you wish. You will have all of the tasks available to you at all times. Each of those tasks will include at least one how-to video and one skill video, meaning that each task will have the activity itself, and then one video that explains exactly how to complete that particular task. I do a video run through of the task so that students can see exactly what they're supposed to do, how to log in, how to open up any links, how to get themselves set up so that they can actually do the activity. And then there's also a skill video. So this is going to be on the particular math skill that is going to be needed to complete that activity. So for example, if it is a multiplication using repeated addition type of activity, then there is a skill video that goes over how to do multiplication using repeated addition so that students are familiar with that skill before they try the activity. All of the activities are accessible through Google Classroom. So you will need a Google account in order to access them. The student can use their own or they can use a parent's. You will also need a Boom Cards account. I will get that all set up for you at sign up. Thanks so much for your interest in this multiplication math camp. If you have any other questions at all, please feel free to reach out. You can reach out to me via the contact me form on my website, or you can email me at mytutoringb at gmail.com.